Hey creators, I'm back again for a second time this week and this is to bring you what I hope is really good news. Now, what I want to talk you through today is something that my team has built out and that's a help center article that's specific to gamers and how the advertiser friendly content guidelines apply to gaming content. You'll find a link to this page in the description below and I'd love to get your feedback via the comments or through the send feedback link. Now, onto the actual content within the page itself. It's called Gaming and Monetization, and what we've done is taken the top advertiser-friendly content guidelines that gaming content typically runs into, and we've outlined each one of the self-certification sections within the context of gaming. So, the five sections are as follows. They're inappropriate language, controversial issues, sensitive events, adult content, and violence. And what you're gonna find on this page is examples that are tailored to gaming content. For example, when it comes to inappropriate language and profanity, we highlight that, for example, a racial slur used anywhere in a video, even if it's part of the game's narrative, that still counts as something that shouldn't be running ads. So to give a more specific example, if one of the characters within a game says the n-word, for example, that's still not going to be suitable for ads. Advertisers aren't any safer on a video that would have content like that than if it were a real-life situation with two people using that word back and forth. Second example I'll give you is around adult content. Even if Again, the game's story is based on something like a strip club. The fact that it's fictional doesn't make it any more advertiser safe. So if you have characters going to a strip club and performers performing for them, that's still not going to be safe for ads. So what we hope to do in providing these tailor-made examples for the gaming community is really provide the maximum amount of transparency that we can possibly give you around how to rate your content with self-certification, but also to really give you a sense of how the advertiser-friendly guidelines apply to your community's content. So that is the core of the article, but it actually doesn't stop there. We've added in some bonuses. The first is a section on titles and thumbnails and things to watch out for if you wanna make sure that you get that green icon. In addition, we have a section about applicable content types. So when, you know, Joe Soap thinks of gaming content, they typically think of recorded gameplay. But when it comes to gaming content and how our advertiser-friendly content guidelines can apply to the content that gamers are creating and giving to the community, it actually includes other things like long-form content, uploads of live streams that have taken place before and you just want to share how you interacted with other gamers via the live stream, but also through videos like reaction videos, which you might not immediately think are in scope of how we view gaming. All of these things are detailed in the article. And finally, we have some added bonuses on top of that, and that is definitions. So when we use terms like focal or fleeting, they're really important concepts when it comes to rating your content with self-certification, and overall just making sure that you understand the guidelines that govern what can monetize and what can't. But we've never really provided a concrete example of what we mean by these concepts, and in this article, we have. So that's it from me. We really want to hear your feedback so we can get more of an idea of how we can do better, how we can be even more transparent, and anything we're missing. We're gonna be updating these resources on a constant basis, but it's your comments and your feedback that give us really good leads about what we should focus on. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you give us that feedback.